Okay guys, first thing you want to do is uh, undo the wheel bolts and chop the wheels and then jack the car up, remove the wheel, put an axle stand in place and get your jack and put it under the wishbone. Take the tension off of the anti-roll bar and then you can undo the two 17mm uh, uh, nuts on the anti-roll bar at the top and the bottom of there. Next you want to remove the uh, brake pipe, this is a 14mm uh, bolt that goes through there on the bracket and just pull off that ABS uh, sensor there that just uh, has a little uh, clip. Next undo the two 19mm strut bolts that hold it onto the hub and put that out of the way and that will just sit there nicely. Next you want to go up and remove the wiper arm, check my other video on how to do that, it's very simple and then remove all this plastic, uh, it's very simple, just clips pop off, um, it's all self explanatory. Next you've got three 13mm uh, headed um, nuts on the top of the strut there, you need to remove these and as you remove them make sure you hold the strut and then you can pull the strut free and pull it out of the way. Uh, there's the old strut there on the floor. Guys there's the strut off, I'm lucky enough to have a um, Clark strong arm. Um, compress this spring down that's an 18 mil nut on the top there I'm going to use my gun um, to whiz that off but if you haven't got a gun you're gonna to have to use an 18 mil swan neck and a allen key 6 mil I think and so the Clark gun has made light work of that so then you just take that nut off take that piece off just remember in the order what you're doing this Really want to come out. There we go. It's got a sort of a twist on, twist off action. This piece. There we go. So now we will take the old boot out. That's the old bump stop. Bench. So if you can imagine that on the car, that is what is falling out of there and then giving you that knocking noise. So I'll show you the new stuff. Hey guys, so this is the new um, absorber assembly front shock. There's the number if you want to order one of these. Um, I've got this from Honda. It was £50. So um, not too bad. Okay, so you get the new and improved bigger whiter bump stop. You get the new top mount with a bearing inside. You get a new top nut. And you get a new boot. Right, I'm going to get this on. I'm going to give that clean up and then I'm going to show you it right, assembly. Giving this a clean up. Right, reassembly. Get your new boot and stick that on top. Push okay, that push down. that down so that clicks all the way in and then that cannot come back up. It's a pretty simple actually, just get it started on one end and then just sort of twist it and then pop the last bit home. Like so, and that sits on the lip there now. So we've now got the new boot, the new bump stop. And now we're going to put the spring on and get the new bearing back on top. Okay, so it's a bit fiddly, um, so I had to use a um, couple of different things, but I used the strong arm and a spring compressor in the end. Okay, so there we go, the new bump stop's fitted. Make sure that you get that lip sat in there. I'm going to stick it back on the car. Okay, guys, so refitting is just reversal and removal. And if you find the video interesting, give us a thumbs up, a like and a subscribe, and I'll see you on the next one.